This just in, Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin has signed a three-year extension with the team. It happened this morning. Super Bowl winning head coach led the Steelers to a playoff berth last season. However, the team lost to the Browns in the wild card round. They started 11-0 before losing four of their last five regular season games. And this extension will keep Tomlin there through at least the 2024 season. On the extension, Mike Tomlin saying, in part, we have a goal of winning the organization's seventh Super Bowl championship. And I couldn't be more enthusiastic about the upcoming season. Tomlin, who arrived in 2007, will enter his 15th season with the team. Steelers just have three head coaches since the 69 season. Tomlin joining Hall of Famers Chuck Knoll and Bill Cower during that time. All right, with more, let's bring in our NFL insider, Jason Locken forward. Jason, what does the news from this morning mean in terms of the state of the Steelers today? Well, it reaffirms the Rooney family is the Rooney family, and, and things are not changing. They prize continuity, um, leadership, stewardship, empowering people for the long term. I mean, you just said it, Tommy. You can go back to them drafting Mean Joe Green and look at how many people have coached the Pittsburgh Steelers. It doesn't even fill one hand. So... Uh, this is what they do, and Mike Tomlin's never had a losing season, and I know some people in Pittsburgh have been talking about, well, it's been a minute since they won a playoff game and this or that, um, but he is in lockstep with the hierarchy of that organization, and this is someone who in the past, when they've done sort of one-year extensions, it sent a, a signal to the marketplace like, hey, wait a minute, may maybe we have an opportunity here. A few years ago, Dan Snyder, when he fired Jay Gruden, trust me, he was doing everything he could behind the scenes to try to work out a scenario where he might be able to trade for a Mike Tomlin or something like that. You give a guy this much term at a point in time where the Steelers are at a unique crossroads where this franchise is rarely at, where they might be losing more games than they win a time or two before they get back on top. Some of that some people in that organization are more willing to admit that than others, but that is the reality with one year left of Ben Roethlisberger. The term on this contract says Mike Tomlin's going to be our guy through that transition and beyond, and I think the truly interesting thing will be with GM Kevin Colbert talking retirement openly in recent years and only going year to year with his contracts, at some point does Mike Tomlin assume even a little more personnel control? He has a lot of say right now, but what are those dynamics like? Because that the Rooney family has always had separation of church and state, football operations and head coach, but will that dynamic change with, with Mike Tomlin midway through what looks to be a Hall of Fame career for him as well? And that GM spot going to open at some point, whether it's one year, two years, three years down the road, and I don't think it'll be three, probably one or two. So you bring up some very interesting points, and you mentioned there Mike Tomlin for the long term, but if we go back and focus on the short term here in this upcoming draft and this upcoming season, Jason, what are the Steelers in line to do? What do they need to try to address here as they try to look back, uh, to get back, I should say, to the postseason next season? They, they know that to build a team for the long haul, you, you need to have strength at, at the point of attack, offensive line, defensive line. Um, the offensive line outside of DeCastro, um, pretty much devoid of, of veterans, uh, pretty much going young and knowing they need to put even more assets in that group because they have struggled, as a lot of guys got old in the tooth, long in the tooth at the same time, uh, to pass, protect, and run block. And then the defensive line... Um, Bud Dupree's gone. Uh, Stephon Tuitt battled some stuff last year, and he's getting up there. Cam Hayward, he has put his neck on the line week after week after week for so long. But when does he hit the wall? Um, you know, they, they got Tyson Alulu back after it looked like he was going to Jacksonville. That's a stopgap. Um, they know it all starts right there. And, and, and when they've had their truly elite teams, they've been dominant in, in both of those areas. Uh, yeah, corner is still a need. Running back, tight end, plenty, plenty. Like, they're not what they've been in recent years. But they know how to build a franchise, how to build a winning football team. It starts up front, and they're going to devote assets to those positions. They've got seven AFC North titles, a chance to get eight this season with Mike Tomlin back there signing that three-year extension. Our thanks to Jason Lockman for there with the news from the Steelers extending their head coach today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.